Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I have an intermediate class which is a wonderful power flow to help you boost your energy and your mood. Make sure that you are intermediate as there's going to be minimal cues in today's class. We're going to keep it as low as possible so that you can really tune in and bring out that positive energy through each movement and each breath. One thing I find always helps me to create a really good mood to set for the rest of the day, also that just brings out that energy, is to move with almost a, a flowy dancer's sensation. Um, so try to find that in your class today. Um, I'll guide you of course, but find the movements that feel good for your body in each and every posture just to help make you feel really motivated, inspired and energized. So let's begin. We're going to start off kneeling just like this. Ah, starting off, tuning into the breath. Take the tops of the hands to the legs. Just taking a moment before we flow together to tune into the breath, the body, and become aware of sensations, how you're feeling. Starting to deepen the breath, engaging the ujjayi. With the eyes closed, take your arms out to the sides, fingertips spread, engaging the hands. Drop your head to one side, find some neck rolls. From shoulder to shoulder. Slowly bring your head all the way around in one direction and then in the other. Release the hands down. Inhale, raise, allow them to touch. Take a little back bend. And then exhale, arch, grip your knees. Inhale, back bend. Exhale, arch. Coming up, let's extend our arms, warming up through the wrists. We're going to open and close our hands as fast as we can until we start to feel a little burn going on and then I'm going to count down from 10. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Shake it out. Interlace the fingers, roll out the wrists. And then roll in the opposite direction. And find a stretch, press one hand in one direction and the other in the other direction.
change position. Find a side body stretch over to the left. Swan dive forwards, coming over to the right. Keep moving like this a few times. Follow your breath. One last one. And into your rabbit pose, grip your heels, arch your spine. Making your way into your down dog. Finding three breaths. Taking some wine, um, winal, spinal waves into your plank and then back to down dog. Find some stillness in a wide-legged down dog, feet as wide as the mat. Take a twist to the right. And then a twist to the left. Heel toe your feet back to your normal down dog. Spinal wave to plank. Cross your ankles. And roll over onto the right into your side plank. Back through your full plank and then cross the ankles again over to the left. plank, take a vinyasa, up dog, down dog, two breaths, spinal wave to plank, Cross the right ankle over the left, roll onto the right wrist, side plank. Full plank, uncross, take the left over the right and roll to the left. Full plank, uncross the ankles, vinyasa. Downward facing dog. 
jump to Malasana Yogi Squat. Find a bind to the right. And find a bind to the left. Back to center. Inhale, raise your bum to the sky and exhale, fold. Interlace your hands behind your back, allow them to fall over your head. Release the hands, halfway lift, fold. Open your feet out to the sides for your goddess pose. Raise up. Inhale, rise. Exhale, down. Raise up. And down. Touch elbow to each knee, sink very low. Inhale to rise. Exhale down, elbows to the knees. Inhale, raise. Exhale down. Hold this, elbows to the knees. Sinking lower than the knees and then raise up. Exhale, fold, turn the heels out and the toes in. Twisting to the left. Twisting to the right. Heel toe your feet back to the center. Exhale, fold. Half lift. Fold. Half lift and fold. Roll up to mountain. Come up off the left leg. Draw your elbow to your knee to the side and extend. Elbow to knee. Extend, three more, and then down for your eagle pose, right arm over left arm, left leg over right. Release the arms and the leg, extend the leg. Step back, high lunge. <sighs> Exhale, straight in the front leg for an active pyramid. Arms alongside your body. Inhale, bend into the front leg. 
two more, exhale, straighten. Inhale, bend, high lunge. Last one, straighten. And bend. Coming down, low lunge. Straighten for active half split, arms alongside the body. Inhale, low lunge. Two more, straighten. Low lunge. One more, straighten. Adha Hanumanasana. Low lunge. Back up to high lunge. Frame the front foot and find your vinyasa. Meet me in down dog or rest in child's. Jump to Malasana, Yogi Squat. Release the hands, point them up to the sky. Use the power of your legs to keep them open. Draw them back down, rest. Raise the hands to the sky, use the power of the legs. Draw them back down, rest. Last one, raise the hands to the sky, keep the knees open. And rest. Plant the hands, come into a wide-legged forward fold. Interlace your hands behind your spine, take a shoulder stretch. Inhale, half lift. And fold. Toes face out. Coming down into your goddess pose with your elbows to your knees. So you're sinking very low. Inhale to rise. Exhale down, elbows to knees. Inhale, raise. Exhale down. This is your last one, hold it for a moment. And then inhale, rise. Exhale, forward fold. Heel toe your feet together. Fold, half lift, fold, half lift, and fold. Roll your spine up into mountain. Raising up off of the right leg, extend. We're going to draw the knee out to the side, elbow to knee for one. 
two, three, four, and five. Extend, come into your eagle pose. Right leg on top of left, left arm on top of right. Release the arms, extend the right leg, and then step back, high lunge. Finding that flow, straighten the front leg, exhale, active pyramid, arms alongside the body. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, pyramid. High lunge, pyramid, high lunge, last one, high lunge, and then take it down for low lunge. Active Adho Hanumanasana, arms alongside the body. Follow the breath, inhale, low lunge. Exhale, straighten. Low lunge. Straighten. Low lunge, raise up, high lunge, find a vinyasa. Exhale, up and back, down dog, or take a rest in child's. Roll forwards to plank. Roll over to the right. Side plank. Lift the top leg. Send it into wild thing. Step behind you. Roll back into your side plank. Take it to full plank, chaturanga, up dog, down dog. Roll forwards to plank, rolling over to the left side plank, raise the top leg, step back, wild thing. Make your way back to your side plank. Full plank, vinyasa, up dog, down dog. (sighs) 
we're going to cross our legs in our down dog. So step the left all the way to the right and the right all the way over to the left. <sighs> Bend your knees, draw your belly to your thighs. And inhale, press forward into a plank with your legs crossed. Come back, belly to thighs, crouch. Extend plank. Back again, belly to thighs. Draw your knees down. Open the feet and make your way into your cow face pose, Gomukhasana. Take your right, your sorry, your left hand up and over your head, the right behind for an interlace of the fingers. Find your breath, rest into the stretch. Release your hands. Walk your hands forwards. See if you can draw your chin towards your top, your top knee. And then walk your hands back. We're going to slowly come forward onto the knees and make your way back into a downward facing dog. Uncross your legs. Take three deep breaths. We're going to cross the legs again. This time take the opposite leg on top. So for me that would be the left leg. You've gone all the way over to the opposite sides of the mat. Come on forwards to plank. Bend your knees, draw your belly to your thighs. Forwards to plank. Belly to thighs. Crouch low. One last time, plank. Belly to the thighs. Draw your knees down. Walk your hands back and make your way into Gomukhasana. Making sure the opposite leg is on top this time. Find the arms. Sit up tall and breathe into the stretch. Slowly release your hands, walk your hands forward. See if you can draw your chin towards your, towards your knees.
slowly come on up. This time just lean back, release your legs. Making our way into reverse tabletop. Lift the thighs nice and high. Rest your head back or you can keep it in line with your shoulders looking straight ahead. Slowly lower your bum down, draw it between your legs and sit down taking a forward fold. From your forward fold, take it into a reverse plank, lift the hips up high. And lower down. We're going to come all the way down onto our spines, just roll down vertebrae by vertebrae. Take your happy baby, maybe rock from side to side. Release your feet down towards you and just take a grip of your big toes, extend the legs up to the sky. And then draw it up and back behind you for your plow pose. Slowly roll down the spine. Keep your legs as close to your body as you can. and then roll back up into your plow. Roll down the spine, nice and slow, legs close to the body. And then let's lower the left first a little wider than hip distance, nice and slowly all the way to the ground and then lower the right a little wider than hip distance all the way to the ground and then take your arms alongside your body, palms face the sky, Shavasan. Find some comfort, release your breath come back into a natural rhythm, taking this moment to tune into the body and to the breath, becoming aware of how you're feeling in this moment, perhaps a little more capable, energized, positive, and grateful that you spent this time on the mat today. Relax into the pose. Release each and every muscle of the body. Taking a moment of silence together.
Thank you so much for joining me. You can lie here in Shavasana for as long as you like. And let me know at the very end of your class, of your practice, what you thought of today's class. Until next time, namaste.